i hope everyone is doing good and now for the promised video the 10 man bills with the party comp so starting right away the main 10 man it's usually the party excluding the scout and for the comp we go with one of main tank one off tank one main healer one silent arcan one great arcan one shadow caller one blazing for the dps it there are three choices available frost weeping light caller in my opinion i prefer frost dps who can spam really spam the queues like they are the base dps for light caller you need the faster like players who can cast faster change fast to the animal form and change back to the human form again to like get the stacks that's all weeping it's like easier than frost and light caller but if you have the 700 specs in the full crossbow tree that will be better for weeping but for the frost and light caller even if you have just 100 100 it's going to shine more than the weeping but weeping is easier com uh, weeping is easier comparing to this two okay now for the detail build the off tank starting the off tank the off tank he will play incubus guardian armor soldier helmet astral and the shoes can be hunter shoes but i prefer cultist sandal even a 4-3 cultist sandal is enough to do the mobs and for the bosses usually he will play on dodge roll for the swaps i make him carry the hp cut that is the hood of tenacity and for certain bosses from the off tank i prefer the guardian helmet and knight helmet like for the dancing knight helmet is good and mist caller obviously the shield it will like generate the um, aggro okay so remember the shoes should be cultist it like it will be better like the dpa like the uh, debuff is better with uh, this okay now for the main healer main healer gear is basic right with royal jacket with the graveguard helmet limb cap celestial with the iron root iron root 6300 specs is enough till 83 maps if you want to like heal with the iron root stuff in like in my with my team iron root 100 specs was enough for the 310 man and for the shoes he can use talker shoe uh, sorry i mean spectre shoes or the frescal sandal so frescal sandal it's just the skipping gear so like the, i don't prefer carrying more swaps so i just let them carry the f uh, frescal for pve also but spectre is also a good option to leash the aggro faster and for the bosses the main healer should only use a halo fall since hello fall is good with the e like it can heal up to five players and then the cooldown is also decreasing with the each uh, if the hello fall e is hit on a party member okay now starting the arcanes the supports starting silence arcane the silence arcane build is same as 20 men just for the hood he will go with the stalker hood like when he you call when the red leader call for the silence he will use his guardian armor and when his guardian armor duration is about like a, a 8 o'clock when the guardian armor is like at 8 o'clock cast he can use the stalker hood and he can go back to the party to get cooldowns from the great arcane or from the main healer who is using that time for the swaps it's same knight helmet guardian helmet assassin hood like assassin hood for construct assassin hood for the uh, even assassin hood good for the okay and bms occult enigmatic okay this is the pretty much of and the for the silence icon he needs to have a bridge watch cap it's better and for the food go with the avalonian beef sandwich it's better it's cheaper right now anyway okay now for the second arcane great arcane great arcane is same as 20 man no difference but for the swaps of great icon it will be a fallen and a druid cowl okay that's all for the great icon now for the shadow caller dps i prefer a dps shadow caller in 10 man in 20 man you can play whatever you want but in 10 man it's a dps shadow caller in for my avas it's like royal robe with a druid cowl and with space face scale sandal or spectre shoes whatever the you party member prefer uh, for the cape he can use calion cape since he have the druid cowl anyway so as you can see it's like a support shadow caller anyway but the dps of shadow caller itself is way high 
so you don't have to worry like the, if the shadow caller even just use q and w he is still going to be a good dps and for the e shadow caller e the debuff it will be always on the main tank like decreasing the resistance the armor of the mobs it's always like that for the shadow caller swaps it will be a fallen and a guardian armor the fallen can be minimum maximum take it 53 as the fallen swap like many many a times what happens in my uh, for my party construct on the second phase like when the con boss need 10 dancer i usually change the shadow caller to fallen and guardian armor like maybe there will be no peers the PS is zero actually from that time but if the DPS is good and they have like bolt cast and other things it's enough to melt a boss but uh, so I just let my shadow caller play guardian armor and uh, fallen the fallen is actually as an emergency for other bosses if the by chance the great arcane party healer dies then the shadow caller will leash the aggro and just try to change to fallen and revive the great arcane I mean the party healer first and that's pretty much it for the shadow caller now for the blazing the blazing build is simple like the same thing and for the swap uh, the blazing should need morgana cape and royal cowl royal that's for the boss swaps the royal cowl will give him mana like so that he will not have not mana not that much mana issues and obviously there will be the shadow caller and great arcane on the boss like i mean the party healer who will like change to it call and give mana to the blazing if needed like blazing is the most mana hungry build in the whole comp but blazing is like a top tier dps okay for the swaps remember it should be a morgana cape for three it's enough and a royal cowl for the bosses now going for the light caller light caller it's same as the blazing but for the light caller swap it should be a hell spawn stuff with a druid call swap okay so i prefer a bolt caster more than hell spawn but uh, my party members they prefer hell spawn more so i just went with their choice and i just added the hell spawn but hell spawn as a single target dps is also good maybe don't offer the ps as the bolt caster w sunder shot but hell spawn is good so remember for the light caller your boss swap will be hell spawn and a druid cowl okay now going for the next dps the frost dps the frost dps is same build as the 20 man like nothing changed to be honest but for the shoes remember either face scale or spectre shoes for the boss swap it will only carry a wildfire stuff wildfire is better compared to the one hand fire like wildfire there is no cast time for the e but on the one hand fire there is a cast time so on a lot of bosses if the like the for the last boss if the slam is on you then you don't have enough time to dodge so you can just die so wildfire is better in my opinion like others may have some different choice but it's okay you can use wildfire if you are like you can use the one hand fire if you are good in dodging okay now for the last dps it's weeping like weeping it's my favorite like it was in the west since the start of the avas i love to play weeping actually until now i love to play weeping okay so for the weeping it will be royal cowl straight away royal cowl druid robe face scale like if the weeping is good in stacking stacking its uh, druid robe and uh, he can use a druid cowl then it's okay druid cowl will be a better choice for the party but if he and the party can synchronize it like who is going to use when first like that and for the weeping it's straight away a bolt caster no question ask it's the best swap possible for the weeping okay i might forget to tell it so okay so i might forget to add it uh, for the great arcane you can actually use specter hood like if the party dps is decent the mobs are dying at a good uh, faster uh, time faster like before the cc ends the great icon can actually use a specter hood like with the specter hood the whole party cooldown will be faster and the rotation of the royal jacket so that i follow with my party is always first the great arcane then second is the main healer and third it's again the great arcane like this and then the next one it can be the main healer or it can be the great arcane again but 
usually this is enough to kill a pull a big pull okay so that's it for the uh, that's it for the build and for the okay and so that's it for the builds uh, for the main off main tank sorry that's for the main tank the main tank it uses the same build as 20 man the great the one hand hammer with leading with uh, any choice of armor uh, whichever the red leader prefer like for me it's a guardian armor uh, sec and uh, but judy armor gives you extra uh, health so remember that the avalonian armor is actually the mo best of all uh, but uh, I prefer the guardian armor because a lot of time I play off tank as well also so I just keep the guardian armor and uh, for the helmet it's a soldier helmet hunter shoes with bridge watch cape for the food of choice it will be obviously avalonian beef sandwich and for the foods like use the foods that are given here it's always like the top choice and for the tank off tank go with pork omelette I know these bills are wrong like I will change them fast so just you for the off tank use pork omelette main healer pork omelette silence arcane if he have good specs he can wi go with sturgeon uh, but avalonian beef sandwich is a better choice uh, for the shadow color it will be beef stew blazing it will be beef stew light color it will be beef stew frost it will be pork omelette weeping it will be beef stew but if the weeping has good specs the he can swap the food for pork omelette like pork omelette or eel stew these two food they have good uh, dps rate beef stew and the eel stew have good dps rate but eel stew since it's a like uh, uh, expensive version so like just omit it just go with the beef stew okay so that's it for the build remember in 10 man the rotation of the jackets the dps uh, specs and the dps how much like they are spamming all these things are important like you with with the bills and like obviously you don't need point for items point for items they are just for show in pve we used to do avas before the point four we could do it and like we will do it with the point three items itself we don't need any point four to clear the ava okay but if you want to go point four uh, uh, then the choice of dpa the weapon choice it's six four minimum with 10 percent ability damage like that is the minimum requirement for the point four otherwise you can just go with the a3 versions of the weapon like a3 it's so that you can clear the ever faster and obviously uh, you will like have no issues with the weapons but uh, if you want to go with point four obviously you can go uh, with the ability damage 6.4 weapon at the minimum requirement like with this 83 100 specs weapon on like the frost and light color uh, we did 8.3 ava with zero deaths like that's how easy 10 man is just remember trust the dps and for the iron root main healer like his main primary focus when the full dps starts right like the blazing and the shadow color e hits or the light color e hits he should like uh, one second before he should start linking the mobs so that the damage is spreaded well for from the mobs and like the damage is increased and the other time the iron root uh, main healer should focus the off tank since mainly he is going to take all the aggro so for the off tank if he is not that good specs okay and the or the main healer is not that good in sustaining go for the armor take 73 minimum that's the like the minimum thing i can say 83 will, will be obviously better but 73 it's like okay not bad okay so for that's it for the bills and before i forget the scout the scout he should always go with a bedrock or the great arcane whatever the party prefers or whatever the raid leader prefers bedrock is better like if like obviously the scout will be in party so he can just push away the ga uh, maybe the gankers or the divers away from the group like that's better compared to great arcane because the great arcane after you drop it one time there will be like a 12 second immunity so bedrock is better in my opinion bedrock with a knight armor or a fiend robe and for the helmet of choice it's always a judicator helmet like even a 4-1 scout is enough to protect a party okay so that's it for the build like if you have any 
questions like don't sh uh, be shy just ask it like 10 men avas they are the most profitable right now comparing with the 20 man 20 man you will blow up and then if you are inside the ava obviously the uh, divers if they see a blob that is of they will go for it but in 10 man what happens if they, you guys are not blobbing like obviously you will not blob like when you have 11 players together you will actually see the blob but since you are 10 you will not blob the divers they usually check the first two pools uh, and just leave the ever like you can spam hours better and 10 man they are actually easier like the party managing is always easier for the raid leader like not that much you don't have to take that much load for the uh, party so my opinion 10 man is good just spam it till sbi decide to nerf it or maybe like the hp regain of the mobs like maybe they will add something more like that in future just sp keep spamming the 10 man make money make profit okay that's it okay thank you for your time like if you have any question again just comment it obviously i am not that active but i will go for through all the comments and i will answer each and every one and i am working on a discord okay i hope you guys will like it when i open it like that discord will mainly for the giveaway for my channel so that i we can grow bigger and for the all the things like the boss rotation the bug rotation how to do each pull i will try to give it there like obviously i am not, not that good in explaining the things but i will just try my best so that anyone with zero idea can just go through the video and learn how it's done red leading it's not that hard you just have to remember what's coming that's all okay thank you everyone